Hi, I'm Scott with Marks Mobility. Today I'm going to show you how to replace all of the tires on the Pride Mobility Maxima. So stay tuned. So we'll start with the easiest of the tires to remove, the rear tires. Uh, the tools you'll need for the rear is a three quarter inch socket set or drill piece. Uh, I'm going to use a drill, but you could use either a socket or drill. Um, the first thing we're going to do is prop the scooter up. I'm using that hand jack back there underneath the base. That way I have a little bit of room to work underneath. All you need is maybe half an inch or so. So when we pull the tire off, it's not dragging on the ground. You can use anything. You could use a piece of wood or anything that lifts the scooter up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop off this cover right here with a flathead screwdriver or whatever you can get in there. That exposes the bolt. That's your three quarter inch bolt. So I'm gonna use a drill, but like I said, you could use a socket set if you preferred. There we go. Once the bolt has been removed, there's a single washer on there as well. Looks like that. We can slide the tire off. Now, this is a brand new unit, so it's a little tight on there, but a little bit of effort, it'll pop out. And then there is a little key that goes right here that might pop out as well. Uh, you are going to want that in there for when you replace the tire. As you can see, the tire has a little notch for it. If it's not on there, your tire is just going to spin. It's not going to do anything. So make sure that that is in there. And putting a, a new tire back on is pretty much the same process. You're just gonna to want to line up that groove with that key. There we go. Once it lines up, it's a little tricky to line up, but once it does, it should just slide in. You'll put your washer back on, put your bolt back on, or your nut back on. And then just go ahead and tighten it again. And you can tighten it a decent bit. Uh, that nut does not inhibit the tire from spinning. But that is how you do the rear tire. And don't forget your little plastic cover just pops in there. Now the front tire is a little bit more difficult than the rear tires. Uh, it's just harder to access. Um, I do have the front propped up again. I've got a hand jack under here. Make sure when you jack up the unit, make sure it's under the frame and you're not pushing on this plastic. Let's say I put the jack quite far under there. That's where the metal frame starts. But I do have a little bit of clearance and some room to work with. Uh, for this one, this main lock nut is three quarters. This size, I'm actually not even sure what size it is. Uh, a little bit bigger than three quarters, so I'm gonna use a crescent wrench. Um, but it, it could be like 13 16 or something along those lines. Um, but what I'm going to do is size the crescent wrench up and pretty much it's just one big bolt that goes through here. So one massive bolt from this side to this side and a couple looks like washers in there. So I'm going to hold this down and then spin it to the side and hope I can get my drill in there. There we go. A little tricky, uh, but once I got the angle right, you can take that off. Uh, this is your lock nut and you have a washer on this side. You can see this bolt. As I push it out, there is a metal it's like washer on both sides, which will probably drop once I pull this bolt out. There they go. Then there's no washer on the other side, but that removes your front tire. So getting this tire back on is the same process, but in reverse, we got our bolts, our two washers, and then the lock nut on the other side. It is kind of tricky because there's not a lot of room for your hands to work, uh, but I'm gonna try to get this bolt in here and get my washer balanced on it. So that way at least it's not coming off then try and get it through my tire. 
Now there is a bearing inside the tire, so you might have to manipulate it or spin it around. There we go. On the other side, I'm gonna pull this back out so that it is flush and I can get my second washer on. There we go, now that it's flush like that, I can try and line up my second washer. Will be a little tight, but once it's there, I can push my bolt through, slide it around. You can see it pop out the other side right there. And then put our washer on the outside, put our lock nut back on. Again, same with the other tire. You don't have to leave this loose. It will spin no matter what, just like that. Get my crescent wrench lined up on one side. Get my drill on the other side. And now we're back on. So that is how you replace the front tire on the Maxima. So once again, this has been how to replace all of the tires on the Pride Maxima. If you like this video, uh, if you like this unit, or if you do need tires, or if you have any questions, uh, feel free to give us a call. And thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.